the wall and welcome back to another wonderful video today we are here on this random island because we have ourselves another episode of builders highlights this right here ladies and gentlemen is a frozen the fuck was that this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a frozen kingdom. It is actually really lovely. Um, I have a few critiques here and there, but overall, I really, really seem to enjoy this uh, map, and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Okay, so we have this character here, Blackie, and then this little uh, symbol here. This is the party leader. They uh, presumably own the map. I'm going to hide the party list again. Uh, and we're going to go over the map and kind of just show you some of the things that I really enjoy about this map. First off, of course, this is the entrance. This is where you appear when you first get off the docks. Now, one of my immediate critiques is that this kind of seems to be blocking it a little bit more. I feel like you should have removed at least this part of the wall and then just left everything else the way it was. Just because it seems like that's kind of blocking you a little bit i guess it's not really necessarily blocking you because you can obviously fit right here but it does seem like a tiny little nitpicky thing uh but moving on we have a very nicely lovely decorated area back here it's really nice i love it why why are they saying they found me oh no run away uh i really love what they did with uh some of these rooms back here some of them are very bland and sort of basic but uh, i think if they were to go through here again and sort of change this room specifically because this room doesn't really seem to make much sense to me at all uh maybe it's supposed to be the blacksmiths or something like that i've seen better blacksmiths uh but change this building change this building change some of these a little bit because some of the interiors for these are kind of bad or very basic uh but overall they they seem really lovely i really love that they have just a big christmas tree in the middle uh it would be nice to see some christmas gifts around there or maybe some further decoration they can only place seven more objects because of their their limits uh but if they did get supporter i would love to see more detail in certain places like that uh so just gifts there and things like that one area that they can improve with uh, the amount of items that they've placed is this table here. This table, for some reason, they used uh, five yeah, or four, yeah, four long tables for some reason. I don't know why they decided to do that. They should have just placed a single table here uh, or something like that. Uh, if they wanted to plant on there, they could have still done that by putting it at the bottom of the big table or something. Uh, so I'm not sure why they went about doing that. Um, same thing with these. I'm not sure why there's just random cookie tables and muffin tables here. It seems like they didn't really understand very well how to, um, or they didn't have very much experience in interior design when it comes to Ponytown. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe they had other people work on some of these and vice versa and things like that. Who knows? But they have a pumpkin patch over here. This pumpkin patch is actually quite lovely, even though they didn't necessarily do it in the way that I've shared before in previous videos or other people have done in, in uh, other builds and things like that, where you use uh the leaves and these little tulip things and sort of make vines out of them and everything like that this still works this still looks good um so uh, i i i enjoy it uh then they have just different rooms here they seem copy paste there's a couple of layering issues such as this little corner here but honestly these layering issues are very easy to fix uh can i squeeze through here i cannot squeeze through here i can haha -ha! they have perfect little alleyways i love that uh and of course just basically copy paste rooms they're not really copy paste but they're they're very similar to one another i do find the the position of this fireplace kind of odd because it's like i don't know it just seems like really odd because of the dresser there but uh, again i can nitpick at tiny little things like that but overall this island is extremely lovely uh another thing that i can nitpick at is the fact that it's very very square uh and things like that but again that's very nitpicky they they, they place their trees uh in in a fair way i don't know why this is blocked off a handful of things like that that, that I find really uh, not necessarily bad, but could be better about it. Um, but this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying like this looks like more than one person went here and worked on the island because why does this one get like weird doors, but none of the other ones get one? Why does this one have this thing blocked off, but none of the other ones? Like that's that's strange, isn't it? That seems very strange that it's like that because uh, it it. It doesn't seem like it should be. Then they have a, a vineyard out here. They are doing they are doing the vine thing here, but they're not doing it at the other place, which again tells me that they probably had more than one person working on this with them. Uh, and then they have this tiny little room here. This is actually really cozy and lovely. I actually really love this. Uh, I don't have a single issue with this at all. Uh, maybe throw a window in there, but I mean, it's it's fine. It's perfect the way it is. Maybe you could put some some boxes or some barrels or more storage looking things out here because this is like a farm or something, of course. Uh, so maybe you can get around doing that. Of course, you can only place seven more objects, so you'd have to kind of 
work around that and everything, but uh, that's just my personal opinion on what you can do to improve. Then, of course, we have the castle. What kingdom is complete without a castle? We have a library type thing over here. Uh, it, it's kind of mazy like here because you can go between here and then get into this weird area here. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest with you, because it's... um. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be like a map of like the area, so to speak, because we have the castle and two other buildings. I'm not sure what the cake is for, though, then. Um, so I'm not really sure what this room is or what it, what it's about, but it is what it is, uh, and it doesn't look bad. I do enjoy it. I do think it looks good. Uh, this room, I'm not sure what the deal is with this room. I think maybe this is supposed to be bathrooms or something. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm really, really, really unsure what that's supposed to be. But you can squeeze past here and get into the secret wizard tower uh, and have some fun there. Uh, so that's lovely. I really love this little area here with the crystals and everything like that. It seems very cramped and, and storage-like. This dresser does seem kind of oddly placed, but it all works. It's probably actually placed because you could probably get behind that, that crystal branch. They probably put that there so you can't get behind it. Um, but they could have just moved the crystal branch. Um, but yeah, then we have this area right here, this little table with the throne room. Uh, this is very interesting because they have the giant dining table right in front of the throne. So it's like the, the king or queen of gluttony or whatever, just sitting here at the tables, just constantly being given food at their big buffet table thing or something. I just find it odd, odd that it's placed that way. Um, obviously, they didn't have very much space to kind of work around that, so uh, if they were to do that and, you know, move this big table, they would have to remove something else, such as this pool, which I also find kind of odd because it is a winter wonderland type thing. Um, but... Hey, you know, it is indoors, so maybe it is heated in here, and, it, and it's lovely. Uh, indoor pools are lovely, after all. So, we have this room here. Uh, just just two rooms are basically copy and paste of each other. Slightly different. I do find the position of the fireplace very odd once more, but uh, take it that way you will. And uh, that pretty much does it for the map. There's not really anything else going on in this map that I really want to highlight and share as really, really excellent. Um, they, they did some good details out here in the forest and things like that because, you know... Oh, they actually have second docks. I didn't even, I didn't even see those. I, I find this really lovely as well. It's very nice. Uh, and everything. Uh, the position of this this uh, fence right here, again, is probably probably should be moved back one more, but hey, take it out what you will. This is also a mistake right here, because this is stretching off too far, and it is getting into the boat. But again, nitpicky stuff like that all day long, but this island right here is actually really lovely, and I am proud to present it with uh, the Skella, the Inspector Skella seal of approval this map is really lovely if you ever see someone advertising this winter wonderland um type kingdom role play then hop on onto it because it is actually really nice i absolutely love it i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see your builds in a future builders highlights start building some good things and start advertising them at the docks because i pretty much am not doing requests for these pretty much if i just go to an island and it looks really lovely and it's really awesome and everything like that. That's what I'm doing. I'm not taking requests. So if you guys want your your map to be on a future episode of this Builder Highlight series, then just build something really good that you're really, really proud of and start advertising it at docks every now and again. And if you see me or something like that, try to sneak it in there. But don't just don't just come up to me and be like, oh, Danny, you have to see my island. Because if you, if you like basically ask me to see the island then i there's a st strong chance that i'm not gonna do a builder's highlight on it just because i'm trying to highlight people that you know aren't re constantly requesting this so uh, take it out what you will i do hope that you enjoyed if you did please do consider liking subscribing sharing and doing all those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things like that not only you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful pet the butterfly